Howdy guys, welcome to Rune Revolution. I'm Ethan Stahl. Let's talk. This chart behind me has changed today uh, because we're gonna work towards a slightly different goal. The original whiteboard over yonder was based off of the system that I'm using now and then I strayed from it and it got really confusing because I was trying to use multiple systems at once and I honestly don't have that kind of bandwidth right now. Um, so we're gonna go back, we're gonna work this system like I've been saying, and this chart is gonna help us with that. So what, we, what we're gonna look at today is the five factors for a viable market. What that means is that in the book, in the training, what it's saying is that if a market or if a niche or a passion of yours meets, meets these five criterion, then it's good. You can do it. And they're saying is that you can turn it into a million dollar business. So the first thing is, is it digital information friendly? Meaning is it something you can download? For example, you know, uh, something like, something like car brakes. You can't download a car brake, but if you widen it to car modification, then that stuff starts to get digital information friendly. That's an example straight from the training. Um, but think of anything, like, so what I'm trying to do probably is lore, like runes and myths. And that is extremely digital information friendly because most of it is just books or theories or speculation. Um, so that's definitely digital information friendly. Now competition, it's a little bit counterintuitive, but they say that you should never be the first to do something in your niche because that means that no one is currently looking for it. So you either have to have something revolutionary that you know is gonna be big, or just tread the beaten path for a little bit. And especially that's gonna be what I have to do because I don't really know what I'm doing just quite yet. So there's definitely competition there. Uh, stuff like the lore podcast, stuff like the Percy Jackson series, there's a ton of stuff out there around myths that I could potentially tap into and uh, build a market off of. Three is the size of your audience. Now, uh, well, tomorrow's video will be about some of this too because I'll do a little bit of market research for you guys and show you how I do that with the tools and the training provided in the program. Four is popularity, same kind of thing. You determine the popularity by doing certain kind of search techniques. Number five is just something to think about is long-term potential. For example, a very popular niche is babies, like expecting mothers or new mothers, because they are, they're quickly absorbing information from whatever sources they can find about childcare or childbirth or anything related to caring and making sure their child grows in the best way possible. However, they're only looking for that information a year tops and then they're done or they move on to a slightly different niche that you're no longer covering. So um, that niche goes away very fast. There's not a lot of long-term potential. Now, that actually isn't something I've done a lot of thinking about is will someone that's currently interested in mythology be interested in mythology and mythology digital information products in the next however long, year, six months, two years, forever, that's something I got to do some thinking about. So that's what we're on now. This is our next assignment. I know, I know guys, we've been bouncing around a lot. I'm, I'm, I really do apologize. But, uh, hey, we're getting there. I know we are. I can feel it. I mean, God, just even looking back at the first video, my ability to get in front of a camera and speak my mind properly with the words I want to use and get the idea I want to convey has improved exponentially. I, I can feel that. I hope it's evident. Um, my editing skills as well. I mean, uh, these last a lot of videos haven't had a lot of editing in them, I know. I know. But ideas both you know, in the physical writing manifestations and my ability to speak them, those are all getting better. 
and I'm confident that I'll hit my stride and really get going on this. It's just a matter of time. And I know, I'm not, I'm not meaning it'll, I'll wait, but one of these things that I'm pushing towards, one of these angles that I'm looking at it from, that I'm trying, are gonna work. And it's gonna really click for me. I know, I know it. So, just uh, stick with me a bit longer. We'll get there. I know we will. And I'm so excited to do it with you. So, this has been Rune Revolution. I'm Ethan Stahl, signing off.